Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading and it will be from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Cancer and let's get straight into your message and see what we have for you. Okay, the card is turned over. Oh, very nice message of success some success coming your way you know i love the image of the angel jumping for joy it feels very beautiful um yeah might well be what you're doing so very nice energy indeed i'm going to pull another card for you and see what we get <clears throat> so message for cancer please angel spirits guides for the week okay that flew out oh how beautiful so positivity positive energy feeling positive about something it feels like positivity could have led to success you know the energy that you've been putting out there the work that you've been doing it feels very beautiful cancer so i'm going to pull four cards the first card is your current situation second card is your challenge Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. So what do we have for cancer, please? Angel spirits guide. What is the message? Cancer needs to hear the most. And it will be 11th to the 17th of January 2021. Okay, message for cancer, please. <clears throat> Thank you. High Priestess. Your challenge, Seven of Coins. Queen of Cups, card of Cancer. Interestingly enough, you're appearing in your reading is the advice from Spirit. And we have the Five of Wands as your outcome. So let's clarify these cards on the table, Cancer, as we always do, and go deeper into the message. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? 11th to the 17th of January 2021. Thank you. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. Okay. So we have the Ace of Coins. The Seven of Coins is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Queen of Cups, Cancer, this is you. We have the King of Swords. And... The Five of Wands is clarified with the Page of Coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. So we have success, positivity. The energy of positivity surrounds you. And when the Pentacles energy appears, it is something that you've been putting effort into. Hard work, focus, time, energy, you know, practical skills, knowledge, ability, that kind of energy. Certainly if it's to do with money and career, and it feels to do with that. But, you know, I mean, this could be in terms of education as well. You know, I mean, it could well be as a result of hard work in bettering yourself, furthering yourself in terms of education, qualifications, could even be professional qualifications, is leading to some kind of success here, Cancer. So very nice energy indeed. Because, you know, the High Priestess is a lovely energy of trusting your intuition. It's an energy of the, intu the universe knows best. You know, and by trusting your intuition, by surrendering, by just going where you feel you're intuitively led, you are aligning to your soul path, your soul purpose, your soul light. And it is in the form of this Ace of Coins. So it feels your intuition is guiding you towards this new beginning. The Ace of Coins 
can be career or financial opportunities, can also be moving, relocating, or both. Um, for example, you know, if there is some kind of opportunity that you've been wanting to manifest, it feels that's what you're intuiti intuitively led to do at the moment. You're intuitively trying to manifest this Ace of Coins. And the fact that it's appearing in your present position feels like this new beginning is quite imminent. This new beginning, new phase, new level, call it what you will. I mean, the Ace of Coins, it can indicate career job opportunities, business opportunities, starting your own business. It is a card of manifestation in your conscious reality. And it is very good in terms of money and career. So there's definitely an energy of next level, new phase. I mean, it can be linked with promotions, bonuses, that kind of energy as well. But it definitely feels for some of you, the opportunity, you're being given a helping hand by spirit. I mean, these cards, you're being assisted by spirit. The Ace of Pentacles is the gift from spirit, the helping hand. Um, this is meant for you. This opportunity, this, this, whatever this opportunity is, it has your name on it because you're being given the helping hand. You might notice some synchronicities this week, things just going in your favour. You know, because it is that divine assistance that's surrounding you, certainly with the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. Because the message is, you have been persevering. The Seven of Coins, you have been trying to manifest, persevere. You know, this is a card of, of something that you've put a lot of time and effort into. And it's a card of, of sometimes a card of taking stock. So the Seven of Coins, but it, it feels in this situation, it just... Whatever you've been putting your work into, manifesting, this can sometimes be about evaluating what's worth your time and energy and what's not worth your time and energy. Maybe for some of you, you've been taking some evaluation in terms of your money and career or how you can further yourself in terms of money and career cancer. And the challenge is that certainly with the seven of coins, it's good things come to those that wait. So whatever you've been evaluating, taking stock of, deciding to put your time and energy into, there is a level of keep going, keep persevering because you're nearly there. And you are nearly there because we have the nine of wands. The goal is nearly within your grasp. There is definitely this kind of energy of something, you know, you've only literally got one one to go before you get to the goal, before you get to completion. You're so close to getting to where you want to be. It feels in this kind of energy, you're so close, keep persevering. And that's the challenge position. It feels like it's taking time and energy to get this Ace of Pentacles. But there's definitely some kind of shift here. And it feels a positive shift for the better. Now, Cancer, the Queen of Cups is you. And the message is with the Queen of Cups, if you stay true to your own qualities, abilities, your natural element, remember she is water on water and water in tarot is very intuitive energy. I am who I am. I connected to who I am. I trust my intuition and I, uh, and that's how I find my flow. You know, that's how I'm in the flow of life. That's how I understand how to find direction through my intuition. So it definitely feels in this situation, Cancer, there's a big message from spirit. Just trust your intuition. Do what you do best. That's how you understand how to make choices, decisions. Find your way forward. Find your flow as well. By, by being who you are. You know, it's, it's a beautiful energy. You know, the, the Queen of, of Cups is very emotionally stable as well. So any emotional issues, or if there's been any ups and downs, emotional challenges, she is very emotionally stable. But male or female energy, she is you. The King of Swords, he has an energy of mental clarity. So there is kind of like clarity comes from your intuition here. Um, I mean, it might well be for some of you, there's also some kind of strategy or plan that you're putting in place. 
vision, you know, that kind of energy that can be the King of Swords energy as well. And it feels like stick to the plan, keep going, stick to the plan. You're going in the right direction. That's what you're being told by spirit. There could also be some professional advice being given to you as well. That could be in terms of money, career, finances, moving, relocating, even in terms of education, professional qualifications, that kind of energy as well. So it might well be that you're being given some assistance you know, in that direction too. And the message is it will only help you find your flow, achieve the goal, you know, get the strategy going, put the plan into action, stick to the plan. It's a lovely energy of maybe there is somebody helping you, you know, giving you some support, advice, guidance. The beautiful thing is cancer, and it feels for some of you that something has taken a long time, but it feels like the opportunity is about to appear for you. Now, it feels probably more money and career for me because it is to do with competition. The five of wands, it feels in this situation you're competing for something. But I definitely feel that there is some positive feedback because for some of you, again, this page of coins, it can be to do with news on an opportunity, financial, career, business opportunity. Um, could be to do with a large organisation, lots of a national, multinational company. You know, it might well be that you're going for that. You're competing for a job or career or business opportunity associated with that. And there is definitely this kind of message. It has, I've definitely got, it has your name on it. There's such positivity here, it feels like you'll be successful because, you know, the emperor is, I mean, it could well be that you're dealing with an emperor. I mean, the emperor is the empire builder. He is the person in authority, the person in charge. So there could be some news from somebody in charge to do with this role. Somebody in authority who may well be feeding back to you and it feels, I mean, the page of coins is the new beginning. It links with this ace of coins. The spirit is being very clear here. News to do with the opportunity, what you've been manifesting. It feels for some of you, you are, you are going to get some good news here. I mean, I'm getting a lot of money and career this week, I have to say, because it feels obviously certainly with the pandemic as well, it's on people's minds. So... In this situation, you could be hearing from somebody in authority. It could also be maybe a large organization, but it definitely feels like there's some news and it feels like some good news to do with some kind of opportunity here, positive message. And it's what you've been competing for, what you really want. It feels like you're beating the competition here. I love the energy because there is success and I definitely feel that someone is positively receiving you as well if you if you have interviews or anything lined up or that kind of energy the message is the positive attitude the positive um energy you know uh and again, this kind of like skill set, practical knowledge, hard work that you put into something now, it will deliver some kind of opportunity. So I love the energy of this. So I'm going to pull you a final card, final message for Cancer, please, angels, spirits, guides. You know, Cancer, I have to say, I've got, um, I do like candles, but I like candles off screen as well. I use um, something, I quite like the Imbu Apothecary. They make English candles. And have you seen, the flame is going mad. <laughs> I'm just literally looking at the flame. It's going absolutely bananas. So, yeah. It feels this reading is very much meant for some of you. So we have solitude think of being alone as meaning you are all one and total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wake silently during your quiet times you might have been like i said uh, furthering yourself in terms of education skill set to get this opportunity to put yourself ahead of the crowd and also this solitude it feels very much tiny with the pandemic either 
using your time wisely, you know, in periods of, of maybe not being in work or not having the normal work, um, you know, being in the actual building, you know, it's that kind of energy. You might be working from home, for example, or if there has been some kind of like change in your financial circumstances or job or job circumstances, there may well be a period of being alone here. But it feels like you're using your time wisely to align to where you need to be and you're being guided absolutely by spirit. And there's definitely an energy that this opportunity has your name on it. So it feels very beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Cancer. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.